Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sampax YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 Custom ROM Reviews. Cherry's OS is back again. Cherry's OS or some 4.3 based on Android 13. You can see here it's an Android 13 build, guys. You need to dial to 13, and you can either press this Easter egg, you can get some different effects. That's a proper Android 13, and you can see the kernel user is 4.14.302 lineage OS kernel. This is the kernel is pretty regularly using from custom ROMs developer, and you can see the December 5th, 2020 is the latest security patch and baseband version. You can see and ceiling status is enforcing. The build date hasn't mentioned here, but it is latest build, the December 22nd build, and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 7 minutes and 11 seconds and 3 milliseconds you can see here maximum is 192 and average is 183 and minimum is 132 and it's throttled to 93 percent of its max performance and this is 100 thread test which is good in my opinion and this is the dialer you get here you can see direct video call feature is available in this room you can easily make it out and even call recording feature is also available you can use that but it will announce the other person that your call has been recorded that's quite similar to any other ROMs and this is a quick settings panel here and automatic brightness sensor toggle is given here if you want you can use that if you don't want you can disable that that is simply missing in the previous ROM whatever I made in my channel you can check out those videos and this is a quick settings toggles you get here if you want something to add here you can drag them sync option is also given and Dolby audio sound and you can see on the screen Dolby Atmos those things are given if want you can add them and this is the home screen you get widgets you get and this feather new wallpapers are also given here if I go into change wallpapers as you can see come alive these things are present here and this is a cherry choice and you get wallpaper colors combination of colors and even the basic colors option plenty are given here this is the under 13 feature and app grid there is option up to 5 into 5 this is how the home screen and home screen home settings you can see here pixel launcher is a pre-installed launcher version 13 here it's a pre-installed launcher here which is quite interesting in this particular rom this is how the smoothness in the ui the app drawer and app and home screen and home screen settings and widgets are also given and this is how the settings you get and uh, let me move into some of the app settings like enter to benchmark result you can also see the app opening time meanwhile you can see a 3 lakh 600 and sorry 765 and temperature raise was 1.3 degrees celsius and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of android benchmark the scores are good and temperature is in control battery life could have been better but it's quite good in my opinion not great that's how it is i will show you some of the battery stats also later and dolby atmos you get here the moto audio moto dolby atmos which is used in many roms right now Android 13 based that's going to be very good in my opinion in order to enhance your audio experience there are direct sound settings also but this will make a little bit better in my opinion camera application this basic thing has been given if you want you can use if you want something advanced you can always use gcam ports here i am using this arnova build gcam which is working fine for me from last two years this is the one port i always use but there are different type of users those who want different in the camera they can try different greatness camera ng cam which are yeah those are the and even lmg there are a lot more customization in some other cameras the gg cam ports are many available for poco x3 you can definitely have them as a uh, camera port for your any other daily driver rom here it's cherry shows 4.2 and you get fm radio also works fine no problem and diagram information level 1 certification you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's not a problem here when people ask me to check new state definitely if you ask me continuously i will definitely add them in my next reviews here i am adding new state gameplay also if you guys want uh, some other game you need to tell that apex legends and those things definitely those not going to run smoother this is snapdragon 732g powered smartphone at that time when the phone was launched these are the games available pubg mobile like that. those can handle well but don't expect apex legends to handle smooth or even better than some of the high-end phones that's not going to happen here 
and some of the other benchmark results like Geekbench. You can see I also the app opening time main well and here the scores are pretty good. Single score is fine 566 but multi score could have been better here just 1503 and kernel as I said before Linux 4.14.302 Linux OS kernel has been used with Android 13 here. This is the app settings and safety net status it's also very important and it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use even whatsapp is also working fine in this particular rom and i have a fiber connection of 100 mbps which is pulling up to 90 mbps and even with mobile data connection also it's working fine no problem regarding that that's how the internet connection and even earpiece quality is fine no problem regarding that i don't test with bluetooth guys i'm um, i don't know why people use it because we have 3.5 mm headphone jack option in this phone that's a flagship feature why we will miss that and this is the actual settings you get here you can see smoothness is very good in this way compared to previous cherish OS version 4.14 whatever i reviewed long back this cherish OS previously in android all this was going to be one of the best gaming rom there but that's not the case here in uh, version 4 or 3 point something this version now it's 4.2 sorry not 3 point that's was with android all now with this android 13 it's not that great but still you get this face unlock and fingerprint unlock here and if i go here app lock is also given and smart lock also given here encrypted rom this is and battery life what i was speaking here you can see the battery life is also pretty good in my opinion screen on time of 54 minutes which is quite interesting here it's not bad either nowadays each and every rom is getting very good battery because of that silanti kernel and this lineage os kernel that's very good they can maintain the same kernels here and cherish settings you get all the basic customizations here not a more just miscellaneous settings you need to enable this unlock ifs and unlimited photo storage in order to get the mm. options enabled in game and google photos and local lock screen customization you get these animations you get this style if you want you can flip it for quick settings panel this will work for example as you can see if i turn off the flash it again it will flip those things you can customize here and button customization simple nothing more here and the themes again your system layout if you want you can change them aos which kept as default dark theme again here you can see it's not in pitch black condition here but let me check out in is there any option to set that and simply it's not available or oh, maybe it's in some other theme here it's not pitch black condition okay quick settings again you get this much of customization in this but and other status bar customization you get that battery icon style here nothing more here you get this kind of customization battery bar those things are missing here these things are available and battery bar yeah it's not there here and some of the other colored icons you want you can enable from here these are the basic customization which were present in 4.1 or anything less similar customization we need some some more time to get those customizations as we are saving in the uh, under 12 based roms and uh, this of it is display size and text you can customize and the colors kept to saturated look little bit enhanced in video at least and minimum maximum low power refresh rate you can see out here 30 60 120 hertz has been kept on display cut out if you want you can do it at i don't think so anyone uses this full screen apps if some other app is not playing and per app refresh rate options are also given app settings are given notifications again those are given location google maps everything is working fine no problem regarding that and moving into system into the gestures into gesture navigation you can see there is an option to increase the pill length that's fine pill read is not required it's already thick enough that's how it is and if you want to use these options gestures those are also working fine android 13 features are working fine i hope i explained everything let's go into games before that let me show you this charging animation here you can see here it should show okay the face unlock is very very quick here it should show charging rapidly oh it got turned off the device i don't know sometimes it happen i don't rec recognize it as a major bug but it happens regularly then it would going to be a bug it's just not increasing yet this is the big bug i can say charging slowly only it's not fast charging supported here 
and by the way i'll also show you this fingerprint unlock as you can see it's yeah i turned on the device for the first time you need to enter pin or pattern and here we go it is quite fast but as i said in the shared droid video the android 12 based roms have very good fingerprint unlock speed here face unlock is fine as you can see just tap here and gets unlocked face unlock is fine here and this other rom i'll show you gameplay starting with pubg mobile and also the new state stay tuned you can see the graphics set to smooth plus 90 fps here because you need to enable that in the miscellaneous settings as i shown in the start of the video now we can judge the gameplay i will keep a little bit above here okay okay i need to enable fps count no in this game i can't yeah you need to add that in game space there then you can enable that gameplay is fine no lag okay <laughs> i need to see some more angle to cover them okay i'll come back at the gameplay is fine but uh, it's not kind of gaming room but you can have it with 90 fps it will it will make a difference and now move to pubg new state how it handles let's check out for some reason the game is getting forced closure but uh, i don't know what's the problem usb debugging is also turned off here and dns is also kept to automatic but still the game getting forced closure i don't know what's the problem here i want to show you it happened quite a few times now but that's how it is i want to show the gameplay actually but it is not able to uh, load the game actually it's getting force closed i hope so and the the update has been received for the game baby because of that it is acting like that you can see here if you want to start the match it will get force closed or even while in the match as you can see it's get force close here that's the one problem i have noticed with new state game but uh, overall the rom is fine here battle life been better and these all the recent apps the user interface is smooth no complaints here and safety net status getting passed unlimited photo storage and uh, unlimited the uh, high fps count those are fine but we have a lot more options if you guys want to go with cherry shows you can definitely go it out that's my verdict on this video and by the way guys many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel hit that subscribe button guys and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video definitely have a like to my video i will be get motivated to make similar kind of videos we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now